Hi guys, this is Virak from Bionic Buzz and tonight we are going around in an amazing penthouse on the Hollywood Boulevard because here is an event and a new app. My name is Matthew Snowden, I'm the founder of 1060. So 1060 is the world's first short form video platform for real estate. So it essentially allows any agent to get a property in a market in 60 seconds and for the home buyer or renter worldwide, they can now have this amazing engaging experience of just scrolling through videos in their city. So, so it kind of brings real estate, makes it real time, and makes it authentic, social and fun. And we think, we think real estate's going in that direction. When I came up with the idea, it was slightly before the pandemic started back in Australia, Melbourne, and I was trying to sell an apartment. And I, I kind of realised, I had this moment where it's like, why can't I just take my phone out and shoot a video? And because, you know, property platforms are kind of very photo and text based. And I've always been fascinated by short form video apps. So it was about that period and we started developing it back then and, and here we are today in LA. Yeah. And I heard about it that um, in Australia it uh, got really popular immediately and also in Canada and now you are here in California. So what is your expectation? Um, I, I think it's going to pop up particularly in the luxury market. We have a lot of luxury poppies on from Sotheby's, Compass, um, Doug Salomon, Oberheim Group um, uh, and um, I think People love to watch luxury house videos. Um, of course, the app is for all real estate. And um, I think from our case, you know, from, from a marketplace viewpoint, you know, the more videos you have on there, the, kind of, you know, the bigger it gets, the more interest you have for it. Yeah. So how can we imagine this app? Um, so it's really built, it's built for agents and home, home, home buyers and renters, or anyone that loves property. So, you know, for anyone that's fascinated by property, particularly right now in New York, or um, LA or Canada, we, we have some of the best houses for sale as short form videos. And the reason why that's so cool is that you, you're getting this kind of like walkthrough tour of the house of music. You're getting to know who the agent is. And that really kind of brings real estate into a whole new dimension, which we haven't seen before. It makes it social and fun. Please share, some, share something about your background because I heard that you have a pretty different background. Well, wow, originally I was in LA in <laughs> 20 years. I was a screenwriter in Hollywood a while back. But um, no, I, uh, I've been doing apps for 10 years now. Our first app went number one in the world in 2011 with Stephen Fry from UK. And um, I've been doing a lot of apps since then. And before that, I was in the film industry and music industry. Yeah. And one more question. How can you see the future of the real estate business? That is a very good question. I think I can answer. I honestly think that in the space of two or three years, that real estate worldwide is going to go short form video. It's going to go social. Um, you just have, you, you have to see what short form video is doing to entertainment and all these other industries. That real estate is going to have that moment, and um, I th I th hopefully 1060 is going to lead the way in doing that. But I think it's going to become very multi channel, like means of channels. Everyone's got their own channel. Every agent can be an influ influ influencer, and people can follow you. And you've seen what's happened in TikTok. You know what what that's completely transformed entertainment, right? Well, thank you so much, and uh, please share. How can we find you? I mean, uh, probably we can connect you through and also the app. And through the website or through my LinkedIn account. Thank you. Please share something about this event tonight, and please share something about the 1016. Well, this event tonight is a very exciting one because it really is a launch of a new idea. So here we're going to have short form, short form videos to look at all the time to sell our houses worldwide. Can't beat it. Did you guys uh, already downloaded the app? I did, yeah. I uh, downloaded the app. We've played with it a little bit and um, it's really cool. I think we're gonna need to change the way that we shoot houses in order to create more captivating videos. Right now what we have is pretty, it's almost like photos, just one after the other. Um, so I'm excited for this. What is your expression about impression about uh, the app? I'm really excited um, from my end marketing the properties. Um, it's a way to get our agents really excited to do new things like this and get new video um, and have them really push for that as they look for photographers to work with and things like that. So there, it's a new way for us to market all the properties. Yeah, I'm excited. And you are an expert about uh, real estate uh, business. How did it change in the in the last two decades or last decade? Well, we've seen a lot of changes. I mean, obviously, 20 years ago, we didn't have social media at all. So I recall, because I've been in it for a number of decades, 
when all we did was two line ads in the newspaper with no photography. So imagine that to today. <laughs> And what can we expect? What is the future of the real estate? Uh, because, uh, you, you know, in the world we have some problems. It's like uh, the economic is not doing very well all over the world. So what is your, your thought about it? This is a great time for real estate because it's, number one, a hedge against inflation. So there's no better time to invest in real estate. Okay. It's also, uh, real estate is a long-term investment. So uh, if you can afford it, and you have the money to put into a piece of real estate, you should do it and hold it. And over time, especially in Southern California, it's going to be a really good investment for you. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and please share where can we find you. What media platform? Maybe Instagram or social media? So. Yes, my Instagram is Joyce Ray Real Estate. Well, I'll tell you right now, I haven't been excited about a product like I am excited about this. One thing that I love about it is it brings the opportunity to do listing videos into the hands of the real estate agent, exactly where it should be. Because nobody knows the home like a real estate agent. And so that's why I think it's so important. It's 10X in 60 seconds. It's like the most amazing short form video for listings. When did you meet Matthew and how, how this, the whole connection started? Oh, my stars and stripes. So he actually reached out to me in January of 2022. And it wasn't until I took a deep dive into the product that I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have it. I, I, I was so excited about it because I think that it's going to change the face of the listing video. How did it change the face? So how can we imagine the whole thing? So short form video is all the rage. I'm on TikTok right now, and that's where people's attention is, is in that short form video. Doing those long videos, it's not 2005. This is 2022, 2023. Short form video and dynamic, easily to move, easy to move through, that is critical. You are such an expert, so please share us. Uh, how can you see the real estate business future? Ooh. Well, you know, they say that everything is online. I would probably take issue with that because I think that real estate will always be on site. But if you want to give people an appetizer to real estate, there's nothing better than 1060 and short form video. What is the project you are working on currently? Ooh. Okay. Well, I are sorry. What are the projects? Well, I have a lot of different projects, but really right now what we're working on is giving commentary as we walk through listings, my personal commentary on each property and the features of those properties. And I think that that is what the consumer wants to hear. They want to hear the intimate details from a neighborhood expert. And there's nobody like a real estate agent that can give that to you. And please share with us because I think everybody loves to watch these videos and uh, we, I'm really curious that, like you, who is a real expert, uh, what is your dream home? <laughs> Ooh, well, you know, I'm actually living in my dream home in Atlanta, Georgia. And if you had asked me five years ago if that was my dream home, I probably wouldn't have picked that house. But I think that anywhere that you are with your family, your friends, your partner, that's what makes a home home. It's not the house or the structure. It's where you do life. That sounds beautiful and please share your social media with us. My, you can find me everywhere and anywhere at Glenda, G-L-E-N-N-D-A, Baker, B-A-K-E-R. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. So Jason, please share some uh, thoughts about tonight and, and about the, you know, 10, 16. Well, I'm excited about it for two reasons. One, these are the penthouses I've been working on for two years. Just got them finished. And the 1060 app, um, a lot of, you know, two things about 1060. One, the app in and of itself, because I think the future is going to be short form video and Matt and his company are the first to it. And I think they've got a great platform. I put these two penthouses on the app and I'm putting all my properties on. I think that's going to be the next few years uh, of marketing in real estate. And then Matthew himself uh, is a great partner. You know, I, if you can get a good idea and a good person behind it, then, you know, it's a perfect brand partnership for me. And I like Matt and I like 1060. What is your impression? How can we see the future of the real estate business? 
We're in a tough couple of years right now, so marketing is going to be more important than ever. You know, in 2021, it was pretty easy to sell a house. You could put it on the MLS and it would sell. Now you've got to do some hard work. Now the agents are going to be tested, and I think the best agents are going to rise to the top, and it's going to be the new marketing that's going to make a difference. Uh, and videos uh, that are accessible to people, I think, are the future. And so he's kind of, you know, setting that curve. What is the penthouse you live in? Do you live in a penthouse? I don't live in either of these yet. I'm going to be putting this on the market for sale. So hopefully I don't end up living in one of these. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. And please share your social media with us. Oh, uh, at Jason Oppenheim. What's yours? Uh, Marilu Nurk. I mean, I knew that, but I just wanted to. <laughs> and what brought you here tonight? Jason and Brett are my best friends for 21 years. And I'm also an agent at the Hoppenheim Group and we're on the show together and so we're here to celebrate the new the 1060 app the TikTok of real estate in this beautiful penthouse designed by none other than the Jason Oppenheim of the Oppenheim Group. Please tell me what is your dream home? What is your dream house? Dream penthouse? Ooh, my dream home I love French chateau styled homes but I would like to have it in America and then maybe a French chateau somewhere abroad. <laughs> when was the first time you remember you started to interested in the uh, real estate business? Well, I've always been into interior design, and so they just sort of went hand in hand. My best friends were real estate agents. I was doing staging, and so it just made sense to learn kind of, you know, all fields related to homes. So now I can stage the house, sell the house, and then design the house for the new owner. <laughs> What is the project you are currently working on? I have about I have two design projects going on, and then a couple of real estate clients, and then we're also all filming season six of Selling Sunset. Please share something about the filming. So, what? How can we imagine the you know the filming of the the filming of the show? <laughs> Beautiful homes, fashion, and way too much drama. <laughs> Sounds fun like tonight. So thank you for stopping by and please share your social media with us. At Amanda Smith. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so please share your connection with the 1060. Well, 1060. Um, oh, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> my connection to 1060, well, uh, Matt, the founder, reached out to me in early 2022 and told me about this new app that he was starting, and I kind of looked into it, and I thought, oh my goodness, this is something new and exciting and fun. So I hopped on, and it has just been so marvelous. Quick form video for all my real estate listings. It's like quick, zippity, and fun. The modern culture now. <laughs> when was the first time you felt that you, you when you fell in love with the real estate business? That I fell in love with the real estate business. Well, I was born into it. Oh my goodness. Well, I graduated in 2000 from UC Berkeley. Yes, I am smart. Okay. <laughs> and I got into the business right after that. So it's been almost 22 years since I've been selling real estate. Yes. What is your dream home? My dream home? Oh my goodness. You have to ask my future ex husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. We want to be more, more specific than that. Yeah, it's really funny because in real estate, we sell so many homes and we see the best of the best and the worst of the worst. It's so funny because I live in actually a tiny one-bedroom apartment condo. It's almost like the, the, the saying about the um, cobbler's kids have the worst shoes. It's the same thing. I feel I'm so desensitized from seeing so many glamorous homes. Like when I'm at home, it doesn't even matter to me anymore. As long as I have an internet connection, I'm close to my family, I'm happy as a clam. <laughs> And I'm happy you mentioned that small homes because most of the people doesn't live in palaces, you know. So, and I always find, I always found it very inspiring to live in a small home. So, what what is your idea about it? Well, I love tiny living because I'm a little pocket gay myself. But I mean, honestly, I, I'm really about just just like. Um, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really about just like decluttering my life, especially under COVID and the pandemic. I just realized what is important, you know, just like accumulating all these random useless things was just so pointless. And so now I live really like strict, severe, like beautiful, simple life, and I love it. It's so liberating. <laughs> and please share where can we find you on the virtual world? Yeah, your Instagram or Facebook or something? You can find me at my website, hermanchan.com, or more importantly, my IG, 
at Hermanity, like crimes against. <laughs> Thank you, that was great. Thanks. And I was just introduced to 1060 app about a week ago and I just joined. Um, I know they're an Australian company and I'm Australian myself, so I'm really proud to have, you know, some to support my fellow Aussies. And um, I've checked out the app and it's really actually good, very sleek and very cool. Like, I love it so far. I'm just learning how to use it. And I believe they have the growth of the 1060 app is just huge. I mean, they've gotten so big and they, they're gaining so much momentum. So I'm really excited to be part of them. And uh, what is your dream home? So what, what would you like to live in? Or maybe you live in your dream home already. <laughs> Well, I'm a green girl, so I love sustainability, but I love sustainable uh, amenities and fittings in a building, but with a very modern luxury feel to it. So if my dream home personally would be something that is organic, green, sustainable, but very high end and luxurious. Sounds really nice. And please share your social media with us. Oh, sure. At Bronwyn Lee Jones, and I'm with the Oppenheim Group, Newport Beach. Thank you so much. You know a lot about social media. What is your uh, opinion and the idea and impression about the 1060? You know what I like about 1060? I think it's a cool idea because as a realtor who previously was like obsessed with social media and all I do is scroll on TikTok, I think it's cool to now have an app where instead of scrolling on cat videos, I can actually make use of my time and actually look through property, which is pretty cool. How can you see the future of this application? So it's already, so it's, it just came out uh, and probably you know more about it than what is next, what is next step? You know, if it were me, I think it would be really cool if we could see 1060 uh, really integrate more than just realtors. I know r other people other than realtors can go on, um, but I think kind of making it a social platform where people can kind of put their opinions on properties and it'll kind of cut off the fat of the people who aren't posting uh, media that is actually of quality, you know, because we want to see we want to see the good stuff. We want to see people that take their time and people that really curate their content so that way the viewer can have a good time watching. I think this is the first real estate application. Am I correct or, or is there other on the field? As far as social media goes with a platform where there's a feed of videos, th I think this is the first. I believe this is the first. So what is usually the process? What is, um, how is it uh, like happening? It's like more and more comes out after that. And how can uh, the 1060 keep the, you know, the, the lead of the whole business? You know what, I think 1060 can keep the lead as long as they really prioritize people who take the time out of their day and they you can tell the people that have the passion for it. If you're really putting the time and effort to really showcase those, that pe those people and the content that they're creating, you're gonna get people coming back. You're gonna get people that actually love to use the app and feel appreciated, you know? And then once their content starts to gain likes and the app starts to go in a really crazy direction, um, they'll be super fulfilled and they'll be so grateful for the beginning experiences. Did you already meet with Matthew or you already have a connection with him? With who again? Matthew, who is the publisher of the 1060. The founder? Yes, I did get to meet him. We actually talked a little bit about my dancing. I used to be a dancer, so we kind of bonded on that a little bit. Yeah. He's oh, wow. Share a little bit more about that. So I used to be a professional dancer over in Studio City, if, you, if you're familiar with the dance studio Millennium. They're a global dance studio. They have Tokyo, LA, everywhere. Um, and I got to be a part of their crew, which was really, really awesome. And that just provided a lot of experience for me before being a realtor, seeing a lot of different people, talking to everybody, and of course, just being creative. So I love it. Well, I love that you are actually connecting to him to, in two different ways. And please share your social media with us in the end. Yes, please. So I'm at Tage Gates on all socials. It's T-A-I-G-E and then Gates like Bill. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.